Hey guys, okay, so it's Ryu again, and um, I'm back, and I actually have, um, okay, uh, let me see if I can get a shot here of my team. Okay, so I have Celebi, Tropius, Jason, and Corrin, I had to bring them, and I also brought Arceus and Mewtwo just for the lols. I, I actually think I kind of want to have, um, Arceus, uh, give his divine judgment on, um, Giovanni, and as for Though, Mewtwo, um, Revenge. Oh, I'm torn. Um, and, uh, I'm actually using, um, Flame Arceus, actually. Um, hmm. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so, um, with the Bulba Garden moderating staff in the background to cheer me on I am going to go forth and yeah I'm actually going to do the whole event over again because I felt like it and I'm going to actually try and do this faster and not bother reading all the text again and now Celebi is making the air glow spammy A button it's kind of cool. So, um... Alright. Here we are. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, chatting with some of the staff of um, Bulba Garden right now, actually. Um, and uh, Team 2 Megatron. Uh... He was at, we were talking about me bringing in Arceus to the flame plate, and uh, he was saying that a level 100 Arceus will probably work, whatever type it is. And let's see if we throw one of those. Um, as you can probably guess, in uh, my thick Son of Earth, this is probably going to turn out to be important. I haven't really touched on this very much. Silver is my favorite rival, in case you can't tell. Um, I, I really, really like um, Silver and uh, Giovanni. I don't know. Uh, Gates is a uh, Gates is pretty cool. Um, he and Ant uh, have this relationship kind of similar to Giovanni and Silver, sort of. I don't know. The, 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 they they're the most similar, in my opinion. But um. I really like Silver. I think Silver is probably one of the best rivals. And here we go, the controversial shoving, which... I don't know why that's controversy. And uh, more chatting. I have to ask, why did Celebi choose to take us back to this? I mean, what significance? And how did Celebi know? And I mean, was it really important for this to f see this interaction? I mean, why did Celebi show us this? Uh, I don't know. I want to name my, Cel my Celebi Joe. I don't know if I can name it. I haven't bothered to check. But, uh, I, I want to name it Joe. For, well, obvious reasons. Okay, um... I think I've decided that for the first th three, I'm just going to have Mewtwo um, run through. Oh, Radio Tower. I love the Team Rocket music. Um, I'm just going to have Mewtwo run through and get his. Uh... Giovanni. I'm going to have him get his revenge. Rocket Boss Giovanni, send out Nido King. I actually consider bringing my Nido King with me. Alright, Selby, um, because you are the mascot of Cerebi, I do not want to use you, because I am from Bulba Garden, and Bulba Garden does not use the mascot of Cerebi. Please don't flame me for that, guys, I'm just teasing. I actually, I actually do use, oh, Shadow Oh, look, that did nothing. Does, does this Mewtwo even have, oh my goodness, uh... Okay, um, 
I, this Mewtwo is like this Mewtwo is untouched pretty much from the um, Cerulean Cave, so um, it doesn't even have Psychic. I would have taught it Psychic through TM, but thank God for Generation Five having um, reusable TMs. I'm so happy about that. There, Mewtwo is getting his revenge. Even though we technically don't really know whether he had anything to do with Team Rocket in the uh, games. But, I'm going to dedicate this battle to F-22, or Age of Kings, or I'm Not a He, or whatever name you know her by. And Mewtwo cannot do anything, because Mewtwo only has a psychic move. So, we're going to switch to Divine Retribution. But, I wish to dedicate to that this battle to F-22 because, well, F-22 loves Mewtwo, and I have promised her a spoon shipping fic, which is her and Mewtwo. Oh, camera's sliding there. Alright, let's see, Judgment, Roar of Time, Spatial Rand, and uh, Shadow Force. Hmm, part of me really wants to do Roar of Time. I love War Time. It's my favorite move, just because of that name. I'm going to use... Judgment. Fiery Judgment from above! God has judged you, Giovanni. You are not worthy in the kingdom of Arceus. <laughs> Burn in hell, Giovanni. And now switching to Queen, which means I can go back to my uh, Justified Revenge. Mewtwo is my favorite legendary of all times. Of all time. Uh, I, I'm also, I don't know why, I just, I really like Mewtwo. I especially love his HGSS sprite. I wish they'd reused that one for black and white, but oh well. So Mewtwo is now going to get his uh, ultimate revenge. And we're going to actually get to the part of this video I actually care about, which is the controversial spoilers uh, suicide of... Why did I switch Pokemon? I don't want to do that. Which is the controversial suicide of Giovanni, because people don't actually think it happened. Or there's... What in the world was that? Just don't keep possible. strong. Uh, you were beaten by Red three years ago, dude. I'm pretty sure a kid can be that strong. But yeah. Um, um, I personally... Oh, wow, you survived that? That was a level 70. I mean, I know it's not physically based, but still. Dang. Psycho Cat. Full restore. Ah. Who knew Kangaskhan was going to be as tough as Pokemon? I have to admit, Mewtwo with Psycho Cut does actually seem kind of cool if you think about it. Just, just saying. But, um... Hmm. Whatever. This just in. The staff members do not use, uh, event legendaries. <laughs> Alright, here we go. How is this possible? The past three years have been a waste. How can a kid like you manage to destroy my dream once again? Note that he is now getting depressed. He is wondering how it is possible he lost again to a kid like this. Okay? In essence, he's now realizing the last three years of his life have been a complete and total waste. Just saying. The precious dream of Team Rocket has become little more than an illusion. See? Watch. That was not static. Just saying. Watch it again if you have to. He walks out of there. It's more than enough time for him to have jumped off that waterfall. I'm just saying... In my honest opinion, I think Giovanni jumped. 
For those of you who don't know, this cave is located behind the leftmost waterfall in Tojo Falls. I honestly think Giovanni committed suicide. Now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I don't think it was static. We'd never hear radio static ever from this radio. In fact, notice it's gotten all quiet. You have that sudden sound. No cave exit music. Just this sudden sound, this strange sound, which sounds like a splash, by the way, and then silence. And then this. Hey, where's Giovanni gone? I wonder if he's listening to our broadcast. They keep calling for their boss. I feel sorry they don't know he's not coming. You can seriously interpret that as he jumped. I, I mean, okay, you're allowed to think whatever you want to think. I'm not going to say that I'm right and you're wrong. I'm just saying there is overwhelming evidence to support the idea that Giovanni jumped. <sighs> After this, Aaron, you will defeat them. Wait a second. Aaron, you're still here. Then who will defeat Team Rocket? And then Celebi, who I threw into my Pokeball, is using its time travel. Not again. I've had enough. Please, let me go back to my time. Well, um... Your time uh, is about nine months ago, actually. I finished the. I finished the. Actually, I think it's a bit more than that. I finished the. Uh, um, Team Rocket takeover really early on, obviously. It's been almost. It's been almost a year already, man. Traveling through time sure doesn't feel good. And look, there's Meryl. By the way, um, Lyra and Ethan call you and say that Meryl's evolved. I've gotten that three times. Lyra, you're a liar. Oh my god, that's a horrible pun. Okay. So, basically, there really is nothing Team Rocket's terrible side fell through. We can say all's well ends well, right? And right there, that's the conclusion of the Team Rocket plot. It's it's over. Team Rocket's end. You, you, you only get um that uh that one guy in uh oh how's it pronounced uh Isiris City, and oh my goodness, uh, oh it's Bay above. <sighs> Whatever, I'm just gonna let that ring out. Okay, actually no, let's let's check and see what he has to say. Maybe it's important. Oh hi Aaron, this is War in Bayaba. There's been a change in Pokemon in the desert area. It seems after some time the same objects is the same area. Kinds of Pokemon settle their change. We found that if you completely remove the area and then restore it with the same objects, the original Pokemon come back. No need to worry. How many times have I gotten that phone call? This wasn't Joey. That would have been the perfect ending to this. Actually, you know what? What the hell? I have time. Let's call Joey. Hello, this is Joey. Good evening, Aaron. What's keeping you, Aaron? Let's get down a bow already. I'm waiting on Route 30. I'm still going to kill your Rattata, which is now actually Eradicate. Anyway, so yeah, that was uh, my video. That was the end of the Team Rocket plot. Thank you for watching, and thank you for listening. And I plan on eventually doing a Let's Play of... um of some Pokemon game of some kind. Um, I don't know what game yet, but maybe I'll do one from Generation 5. Maybe I'll buy myself a copy of Black and I'll play through it. Be nice. Um, yeah, so guys, just give me your opinion. We'll see what happens. Peace.